tanks, landmines, artillery barrages. The ground offensive in Ukraine's war is as visually striking as it is horrific. But it's not the only way Russia and Vladimir Putin are fighting Ukraine. They're also trying to choke off the country's grain exports in the Black Sea. A devastating move for potentially millions around the globe. In just the past few months, Ukraine says sea mines placed in shipping lanes by the Russians damaged at least three ships and maybe as many as nine. Enter the navies of the United Kingdom and Norway with the Maritime Capability Coalition. The British government says it plans to provide Ukraine with two Royal Navy ships, specifically two Sandown class mine hunters. According to the British Ministry of Defense, these fiberglass vessels are nearly 174 feet long and operate as single roll mine hunters rather than mine sweepers. Basically what that means is these ships seek, detect, and destroy individual naval mines, whereas mine sweepers clear entire areas without prior detection of mines. Built and designed by British shipbuilder Vosper Thornycroft, only 15 Sandowns were ever made. The first entered service in 1989. With a 35-man crew, these ships can cruise at a top speed of 13 knots, or about 15 miles an hour for you land lovers out there. While these ships are armed with six guns, they're mostly for self-defense. There's a 30mm rapid-fire cannon along with three Browning 50 caliber miniguns and two general-purpose machine guns. But the real star of the operation is the Sea Fox Mine Disposal Unmanned Underwater Vehicle System, or UUV. Made by Atlas Electronic, the Sea Fox is the underwater drone doing much of the sniffing out and destroying for the Sandowns. But that's not the only role for these cunning creatures. Sea Foxes can also be used for surveillance, enabling Ukrainian sailors to survey Russia's strategic ports and submarine routes. The promise of the new SeaTech comes at a time when Russia's losses in the Black Sea are also mounting. From the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February of 2022 through November of 23, at least 17 Russian vessels were struck. Most will never sail again. Unfortunately, though, just because Britain wants to give Ukraine the ships doesn't mean Ukraine can actually get them. Turkey is dragging its heels on letting the vessels pass through the Bosphorus Strait. Turkey says it wants to keep the strait from becoming a part of the theater of war. While this is not great news for Ukraine, it also means Russia can't sail any warships through the strait either.